I, now I know where to find it, and um, I just got to do do more of it, do more practicing, and, and do more. Well, how have you been doing? Because I really didn't talk to you since the class. I know you're in and out, in and out. You're not there every day consistently. Yeah, I mean, I've been in it now uh, every day for this month. Okay. Um, so like the day, what was the best day you ever had? Um, I think Disney. Uh, really? Uh, on Friday. Yeah. So Disney, where you made eleven hundred dollars, that was the best day you ever had. Yeah, I mean, I made a couple days around that amount. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's been the most. You've, so you had a couple thousand dollar days. Correct. Okay, so that's good. What about the worst day you ever had? What happened? The worst day was um, the Weight Watchers day, where we got stopped out twice. But then it went on to work. Um, Weight Watchers just last week? Because um, that yeah, worked. The, the 11th. But then we... Oh, no, read... no, I'm sorry. It was, be, it was uh, best, um, Bed Bath & Beyond uh, we got stopped out. Bed and Bath & Beyond, Watchers... BBBY. Okay, so BBBY got stopped. We did not retake it. That was just a loss. That was a loss. WTW, though, we we did make money in. Did you not do it a, a, another yeah, time? Yeah, you know, what I did, I did. I got nervous, and I didn't buy it as much, you know, so, or I didn't uh, short as much. So I, you know, had, um, I, I gained some back, yes, but not, not, uh, not. Because we didn't, amount. I'm looking at that. We didn't get stopped in this. We did it late. We did it late, but we didn't get stopped in WTW. Let me look here what it did. Unless no, no, it was BB. It was uh, WTW was a game. Uh, BBBY was the short where we got stopped out. Okay, so what did you, are you not risking the same on every trade? Is that a, what's happening here? Because if you well, have one loss and one winner like WTW, you should have been up. Well, that was what happened that day, yes. So I, when we do I, a trade and the first one's a loss, you get scared, then you don't want to take the same risk or what happens in your mind? Um, you know, I think, I think what happened was I didn't, I didn't figure out, you know, what I should trade. And okay. I just did the a thousand shares because that's what my system is set up for. And I did it quick because we were in the room and we said short it now. And so I just shorted it, you know. And, okay, uh, so you could have taken more. Yes, correct. But you took a lot of the BBBY, is what you're saying. Yes, exactly. You know, like my max, my max buying power in in one trade is mm -hmm. is what I did. In BBBY. <laughs> now, why did you take the max buying power? Just because you well, liked I mean, it, I or only have, I only have twenty thousand in my account. Right, so I want to. But that's still to, eighty thousand in buying power, isn't it? Or how much? That's a hundred. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, then still though, that's. I mean, I don't I remember what. Buy fifty thousand worth. Yes. I don't remember what the stop was in that, but okay. So that's one thing that I can help you with. Your risk should be the same in each trade. If you're gonna risk five hundred, risk five hundred. If you're gonna risk a thousand, risk a thousand. So the first trade stops, and the second trade you take it, you have the same risk. Otherwise. Now, now, in that case, some trades you may not be able, like if it's really, really, really expensive, like for some reason if we do BA, and you can't take the same risk on the second trade because of the stop or something, but usually something like that has a really big stop. So then the fact that it's expensive, you're, you're not taking a thousand shares of it anyways. Do you know what I mean? Yes. But BBBY was cheap. WTW was cheap. You could have taken similar risk and you didn't. So that's why you didn't have a good day with that. But Not correct. Yes. Yeah. That was it. Yep. But I'm saying going forward, you you have to decide what you want to risk. I think I think five hundred dollars is more than enough for you being fairly new to this. I think five hundred dollars is fine. And if a trade goes on to work and you could make five hundred, you could make seven fifty. If a trade doesn't work, then you'll lose five hundred, but that's not the end of the world. If a trade if a trade works really well, you could still make a thousand with a five hundred dollar risk. And if a trade goes only a little bit, you could make three fifty. That's not bad. Yeah, we're great. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Like today, what did you do with this? How much of the BAC did you do? And what did you make on the BAC? We did it right around, I don't know, what was it, like 30 or 27 or something like that? Yeah, okay. So um, BAC, 
um, that was a that was a thousand shares. Okay, so let's go over that BAC. And I'm still in the cubes. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, trying to get it up to the high. Well, you could have got out of that when we had the rally, and then when it didn't lift again here in the afternoon, you could have got out here. But anyways, this looks fine. I mean, this is positive. I mean, this is fine here. I mean, this looks fine. But I mean, basically, you could have got out here, and you could have got out here, and you almost got to 187, so you probably should have gotten out there. But anyways, I, I would I would watch this here now. I mean, it looks like this could rally into the close, but don't miss your exit on this, basically. You're no, up in this. Ab absolutely. Yep. All right, let me go over the BAC. The BAC, today is the 16th. Okay, the BAC really was about 25 cents. 25 cents. So you took 1,000 shares, you risked 250 bucks. Was that what you wanted to do? Um. <laughs> no, it was, kind of, it was kind of a similar, similar, similar situation. You were like, I don't know. I was like, I went blind. <laughs> well, no, you shorted it, but I'm, but I'm saying to you, even if I call it, and even if you're like quick, 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 and you take it and you get it, you still had time in there to go like, okay, wait a minute, do I want to take a little bit more? Do I want to take yes. a little bit less? Do you know what I'm saying? Like you could right. do that. Like I do think it's important to get it, and that's fine. But I'm saying like if you risked more than two hundred fifty dollars in the trades last week, and today was a nice solid flushed down in here when we did it and just went boom you didn't get the maximum amount in that like you probably no, made against 200 and I didn't ride it to the bottom either I just I, I I got out because I I wanted to you know take my game well that's okay but you still didn't size yourself then what you've been sizing yourself I think that's a bigger problem so you could right. if you made 15 cents that's fine or 20 cents that's fine but you right. did. You only risked two hundred fifty dollars, and I'm in. Ma I'm guessing with the BBBY, WTW, and Disney, you risked more than two hundred fifty dollars. I know you did. No, at Disney. Exactly. exactly. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. And Disney worked, but the point was, if it hadn't worked, you would have lost whatever the risk was in that, which was more than a buck. So you would have lost a thousand, and you would have made like one fifty today or whatever you made. So do you see this? You see what I'm like trying to get at here? I do. I do. I mean, I know it's, you know, it's me and my learning curve, so I understand that. So what are you going to do to fix that now? I'm going to size myself, you know, the same each uh, each time. Okay. And, 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 yeah, I think I definitely think, a, a, you know, 500 is kind of what it is. I want to try to earn, you know, 500, 1,000 a day. Okay, so let's figure out, you're still in this here, let's see what you did with this one. All right, so you're in this, where's your price in this and where's the stop? You have it at 185.90, what did you take yes. of this? So then how many shares do you have of this? I have 400 of the cubes. Okay, and what's your price? The price was- What's your phone? Uh, 186.50. Okay, so 60 cents times 400 is $240. So you could have taken more of this as your risk is 500. Now, I don't know. Now, today you obviously risked them the same in the other one, but I'm just saying here, you could have taken more if you wanted to. You could have actually taken 800 shares. Why well, no, I think, let's see, my, the trading platform that I have only allows me 50% uh, of my buying power in any one trade. Oh yeah, because you have the you have a Sterling. retail account, yeah. Sterling, yeah. No, 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 no. The place that you're at, you don't have it set up to actively date you. Would they give you a four to one? Are you in a prop place or a retail place? Where no, are you? No, it's a prop. It's a prop place. Then you should Sterling. have ten to one. You should have ten to one, not not two to one. No, it is ten to one, but they only of that ten to one. You only can have 50% of that in one trade. I don't know anything about that. I never heard of that before. I'll have to find out about that. Yeah, no, that's what that's, like, then that's hit me a couple times where I've tried to, you know, buy more and it, and it, and it. Well, uh, then how did me. you maximize your buying power, the BBBY? That doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, how did you max out on that day? If they, I didn't even know that they had those kinds of limitations, but even if they did, well, they also they also have a limitation where you can't lose more than ten percent of your account. In well, that's any one that's day. good though. I mean, that's that's good. I mean, that's good for you right now as being new. 
I think yeah. that's okay. But the other thing I have to find out about, because I never heard about it, I'll email the guy about that. All right, so basically, well, either way, though, today, you risk the same in BAC as you're risking in this. Okay, so, for example, if this goes back up to 187, what are you going to make today? 50 cents times 400 shares, you're going to make 200 bucks. Yes. Okay, so then that would be a good day. So how much did you make in BAC? I made $110. Okay, so then you'll make about $300 today. So maybe you need to be a little bit more realistic here because you've been making some mistakes like between now and the end of April, which is only two weeks. Say, so, okay, right. fine. If you want to risk 500, fine. If you don't want to risk 500, then risk what you risk today, risk 250, and then set your goal to make between 200 and 400 every day between now and the end of the month. That at least you'll be... That'll be at least two thousand, three thousand dollars, or whatever, in the next two weeks if you can do that. But but if you want to risk five hundred, fine. But then it has to be in every trade. I think you need to decide like over the holiday weekend what you want to do about your risk one and two. You have to risk them the same either whatever you decide to do. But set some realistic goals for yourself so you can start to see some momentum because May is still earning season, and now it's earning season. But May is still earning season too, and then you can start to see some progress for yourself by making some goals for yourself, whatever those goals are, which is going to be determined on your risk. So you have to decide. Yeah. And I, I think that's, that's, that's makes a lot of sense to me. You know, that's kind of the way I would approach it as, as well. I mean, I, I do want to do the options, but I want to, I want to kind of feel that I'm, you know, going to be earning something with the day trading before I jump into the options and, and just throw, you know, and, and invest more money. Well, I know. I think that you should have reached out to me before now. I wish you would have reached out to me before now. I don't know why well, you waited I mean, so long. I was, I was still working full time and I could only trade like maybe one day a week or something because, you know, I was I had too many other responsibilities. So now I'm in it. And so you I'm really this... only have been every day since April 1st. I haven't really Correct. noticed. Oh, OK. Well, then I don't I don't think you're doing bad. I thought this was going on for a couple of months. If you really only have been active for the last two weeks, I don't. I don't think that these are critical mistakes or whatever. You're not down. I mean, these are just, these are very simple fixes. You can fix it tomorrow. Uh, and, and Melissa, I mean, I made some mistakes. I hit the wrong button, you know, instead of buying and selling. Stupid things like that. But yeah. that's, my, that's the learning curve. So, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I fully take it on myself of where I'm at. And This looks and really I, good here, though, though. Look at this. But don't miss yeah. your exit on this now. If it doesn't go over the high, get out. Yeah. Right. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's, what is it? Yeah, well, it's once, well, the, the high is 91. Well, if it gets over 186.80, then I'm telling you, it will go up to the high. Whether it gets over the high or not, I don't know. But right now at 130 here, this looks really good. And this looks like this could rally into the close. It could go up over 187. I'm just saying don't, at this point now, you only have 400 shares. You don't have 4,000. Just make sure you get green in this today. It's not no, like. No, I, yeah. I agree. Absolutely agree. <laughs> and this. Being in the trades all day, I hear like like you say, it's exhausting. Oh I, my God, it's I, I can't I stand go it. I want to go back to the system where we're <laughs> one two hours and we're done. I know, and you know what? The, I mean, to have killed this here and then see it go, but again, I mean, look at this. So I was like, oh, I was glad I got out of this. So look at that thing. The BAC completely flips. So I mean, so, you know, I mean, right. you could say you know. But I do think with earnings season, we'll get back into routine of getting out quickly, which worked for Disney, too, even though Disney was along. But anyways, I'll just really quickly talk to you about the options briefly. That's this, if you decide to do them, it's the same thing as the gap system now. If you do it, you can rate the gap. Or if you don't want to rate it, just take the call when I give the trade. But what you would have to learn how to do, and again, you'd have to... So you don't make a fat finger mistake with this, go over with the broker. How do you place an option trade? You either buy the call at whatever strike I give, or you buy the put if we're shorting that at whatever strike I give. And then you still have to watch the trade. So it's different in the sense that we I might call it trade. Like I called this Disney trade here. People then were up a little bit the next day. And some people got out. Some people didn't. Then they were down here. And then this was the big game. So yes. for that, again, I think people got out of here too early because it wasn't up that much. And but I'm saying like you have you will have to still watch your trades and it's not yeah. the same, meaning you might have to look and say, oh, what's the price of this right now? And it could be two o'clock in the afternoon or something. It's not like you have to sit there all day and stare at it. 
but you will have to manage these trades because I could call them in the afternoon. They could go in the afternoon. You have to still watch it, but it's the same philosophy about the gap, but sometimes they don't go the same day. Sometimes they don't go right away. Sometimes they take a couple of days. So then you have to watch it. But if it's gapping in the direction, when I've already called the trade, that definitely tells you, like Disney on Friday, oh, this is the day. This is the day we want to get out of it. Like I called the market higher. I've called so many trades in the market. There's a lot. There's a bunch on. But like I called this higher. Like today you would have said, oh, boo, today we'll get out of this one, you know, because it's up, because it has the momentum into it, because it gapped up today and I had called it back a week or so ago. So you would right. look to get out of this today. So if it was Melissa, an option. The, this uh, prop account that I have with Sterling, they're, they're telling me that I can't trade options with that. You would have to open up another account with another place then. I mean, I can refer you to a place, but they may not do options. Yeah, they may not. But that, you only need $2,000 to open up an options account minimum. You don't need, that's not margin. If the stock costs a dollar, like this costs 80 cents. So if you had bought 10 contracts, it would be $800. If you bought one, it was 80 bucks. So for the options, you only need $2,000 because it's not margin. You have to go to a different type of place, which I can refer you to. We go to any of the places that you know, Ameritrade, and with, whatever. And these these are, these uh, accounts for the options, are they like are they like the prop accounts where, you mean, when you buy and sell, it's almost instantaneous? It's instantaneous, but it's not like them in the sense that it's not margin. They're not going to cap you out. You call a 1-800 number to talk to a person there. You don't have like a rep guy and also you have no margin. So you go in when you look and you say, oh, I have $2,000. That's it. You have $2,000. You don't have 50000 in buying power or whatever. And you have to watch the trade. They're not going to kill it if you're down or whatever. But you're not. You don't put a stop in. So if it's, it's a fixed amount. If you buy one contract and it costs $80, that's the most that you could lose. And you don't put a stop in. But you still have to watch the trade. And, but but it's different than the prop in that sense. But as far as going in, taking it immediately and getting filled, yes, yes, you will. So the uh, I have options set up on my E-Trade account. Oh, there Does we go. Work? Yeah, that would work. And do you have any money in it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. then there you go. You could do it. But what I would okay. do is, you said you made some mistakes with the shorting and the buying. Make sure you know how to put in an order to do an option if you're going to do it. I'll send you a sample trade today if you want to call them and say, how would I have done this one, doop -a doop -a doo and then you can go walk it through it. Because if you have a okay. live account, you won't be able to do, to do a practice one unless they have like a demo thing or whatever. But I don't know, that's, that's something that you'll have to talk to them about to make sure you know how to do it. But um, it's, it's, it's the same system. It's really, everybody's been getting excited about the options because I've called some big trades, but it's not every day. I'm not calling five days a week. It's whenever I see it. Like I call Disney, I see it. If I call the market, I see it. It could be like, it could be three in one day. It could be nothing for four days. It's like, do you know what I'm saying? The day trading is more consistent where we're looking for the gaps, but the options trades can be big wins. And I think that might help your conviction right now because you're so new for the profits because I've had some really big calls, but it's really just because I've been so focused and I've really been looking at the market really well. And so a lot of the trades have been in the market. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start uh, learning, uh, you know, researching and reading how to, to, to do the options. I would stick with the E-Trade account if you have the account there. You can use your charts with Sterling. You can keep that same chart, see the trade, just practicing how to put in the order. And as yeah. far as the Sterling thing, I'll find about this 50% thing because I never heard of that. I'll find out from them. But I think that you're doing better than than I thought you were considering you haven't been hardly trading this year but now that you're here it's earning season it's a good time you you reached out to me early enough to fix these problems right away but you should decide between now and next Monday at the very least are you going to risk 250 or are you going to risk 500 in the trades yeah well I mean I want to I'm going to do the five I mean but I, okay. I only can risk I mean my, my thing is I at least from what my account set up, I can only risk 50% of my buying power. That I don't field. understand, and that I'm going to find out about because you won't be the only person that's having that situation. I never heard of such a thing. You should be able to access all your buying power. Otherwise, what's the point of having it? 
Do you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of having 50,000 or 100,000 if you can't ever use it? That's what I I mean, you can do it in multiple (laughs) trades, right? But it's just you can't have it in one, one, uh, one, one trade or one position. I know, but that's mostly what we're doing is one thing at a time. I mean, and that's mostly what we're doing. Exactly. Like, so sometimes when you say, okay, let's take more here. Well, I can't do it because I already have yeah. my max in there. Yeah. Yeah. I see that. I see that now. Well, I will find out about that and see if there's anything they can do about that. Or maybe they just did it because you were new. I don't know. Cause that's the first yeah, time I, I heard of it. I mean, Rich is the guy who, who I deal with. So yeah, I'll, I'll text or email or call Rich today and find out this story. But I think you're honestly doing good. And, um, you know, I mean, this was totally, totally new to you. So, I mean, I think you're doing well considering how yeah, new it was. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it too. And, you know, I mean, there's been ups and downs, but more more ups. So that's that's a good thing. But so, the downs, have, I, I've taken bigger, I've, I've had more larger downs than I've had larger ups. But I think that's just part of the learning. It's part of learning. But I think the consistent wins are going to help you. That's what I'm saying. Maybe yes. determine the risk. Because I know in Disney, you wished 1000 And on BBBY, again, if you maxed out your buying power on this, you definitely risked at least $800 on that on that trade, which, again, right. may be too big of a risk for you at this point. Yes. Yeah, and that was, yeah, I think that definitely was, you know, not, not the right thing. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Get that corrected. Once, I think you need to be more in a better groove before you start to risk a thousand, which could be as soon as May or June. It doesn't have to be like December. So you know what I mean. Like I think you have to get in more of a groove about it, which which will help being in the room every day, and then you can step up the risk. Because if it definitely bothers you when we have a losing day and you're down a thousand or whatever, then you know you need to back it off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So what did well, you think? No, I mean, I know every day is not going to be, you know, we're not going to make money every day. No. You know, and we need, s- yeah. we have a, you know, a high, high, you know, 70, 80% success rate. We're going to be fine. I mean, BBBY could have been a losing day. Sometimes days happen like that. And then I think we should just stop. But luckily, WTW did work. So I try right. to find something else when we stop with the first train. But some days you can, some days you can't, can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I and I would have I would have made it all back if I sized myself properly. You would have, because that was a good move. But that's yeah. you know that's why it's good you reached out to me to to determine it because I think your risk of BBBY was 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 larger, and those stocks were similar price. The yes. WTW was similar price, and that on Friday or the Thursday or Wednesday, or whatever day it was, that was around seventeen something, and BBBY yeah. was too. So you definitely could have done the exact same thing. And again. It's not an exact science. If you hit the trade like BAC and you short it at 29.27 and then you realize that you could have taken more and it drops to 29.24, just take more. Get the stop in. You'll be three pennies into it. Now, if it drops a dollar, don't chase it and take more. But in something like where it starts to go a little couple pennies, you certainly can add more if you realize that you don't have enough or if you realize that you have too much, then take some out of the trade, even right. if it means losing a little bit before it goes. I'm not saying chase it. I'm not saying if it drops a dollar. I'm saying if it starts to go a little bit, then you realize, oh, I could take another 400 shares, take it, get the stop in, and it'll pull your price down a little bit. But this, again, this isn't an exact science. If you're trying to risk 250 and you end up risking 300, that's not the end of the world. If you try to risk 500 and you risk 575, that's not the end of the world. If you're trying to risk 500 and you're risking 1,000, then your results are going to be all over the place. And I think that's what you've been doing because you've been going from 1,000 now today to 250. And that's too different of a risk each day, yeah. each trade. Understood. Yep. What did you think of the class? I don't think I talked to you since the class. Oh no, I think the class was good. It's uh-huh. just, um, yeah, I, I know I want to do a retake because yeah. it's been since December, mm-hmm. um, and I couldn't do it this past weekend. So maybe one of the next ones I'll I'll do it. But I I, I think yeah. it would be good for you to retake it since you've been trading now, since you've yes. been doing it. I think that would benefit you. I think that that you should do that because I think that that will help you now solidify everything here. No, exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I need to get better on 
uh, charting it myself and, and pointing it myself. And mm -hmm. I mean, I've been following the room and that's good, but I, yeah. mean, I have to get to the point where I can, you know, confidently, you know, uh, you know, chart it the same way that you do. You know what I mean? If you yeah. say this is 20 points, I should be able to find those same 20 points. Exactly. Now, load about this cues here. I don't want you to lose in this today because if you do, you got out of that other one click, you'll lose money of the day. So what do you want to do? I think you should put the stop at break even and you let it ride and see if it goes over the high. If not, then you'll make the 110 you made in BAC today. That's what I think you should do. I don't think you should keep the stop. I think this rallies, but I don't want you to lose today and you will lose today if this loses because you got out of BAC. I think you should put yeah. the stop at 1850 or whatever your price is and call it, call it a day. Watch it. Get out if it goes up and goes over the high, but don't lose in it, okay? Okay, I'll move my stop. Yeah, I would do that. Okay. Listen, it was good talking to you all.